We have a president who realizes that thoughts and prayers alone are not enough. Gun control advocates applauding President Biden tonight after he takes executive action to crack down on so-called ghost guns. The untraceable homemade weapons are flooding the streets of big cities across the country, including here in Chicago. Dane Placco reports on efforts to exorcise ghost guns from Illinois. There's no mystery as to why us, Chicago, all around the country, we're seeing an explosion in these guns. Cook County Sheriff Tom Dart and his officers show us some of the ghost guns they've recovered over the past couple years. Unserialized and untraceable firearms that can be bought online in kits and assembled at home. But there's no serial number. A serial number would normally be right there on the fire. The sheriffs say the number of ghost guns recovered has tripled each of the last few years, and they're often found in the hands of criminals or felons on home monitoring. So you have no ability to do any types of tracing whatsoever. And honestly, can you think of anything we need to trace more than guns? This is the gun. Today, President Biden issued an executive order requiring serial numbers on the guns and background checks for those who buy them. If you commit a crime with a ghost gun, expect federal prosecution. But gun rights groups are already preparing a lawsuit over the order and lobbying Congress to overturn the new rules. So this stuff doesn't really stop the violent crime. It's really record-keeping requirements, but it allows them to say, see, we're, you know, we're against dr gun trafficking. Over the weekend, Illinois lawmakers passed legislation making buying or selling ghost guns in Illinois a crime and requiring that they be stamped with serial numbers to make them legal. Sheriff Dart says the president's proposal will help police here in the Chicago area because, as they've seen time and again, gun control legislation is most effective on a national level. I mean, come on. I mean, what? So we had 40 percent of our murder weapons that came over from Indiana last year. Does it have to get to, what, 50, 60, 70 before all of a sudden we say, yeah, you know, maybe we should get around to a national sort of policy here. In Maywood, Dane Placco, Fox 32 Chicago.